Check out the new ICD-10 format. As you can see, it's longer and it contains different alpha characters, but that's only one problem. There's actually several challenges that ICD-10 is bringing that most practices don't even know about. Luckily, LiTeX knows the challenges up ahead, and they've created tools specifically designed to handle them. LiTeX 2015 alleviates tons of manual labor associated with the new ICD-10 requirements. Let's take a look at LiTeX ICD-10 tools found in LiTeX 2015. First, there's a code mapping tool which takes all of your existing ICD-9 codes and creates new ICD-10 codes. The code mapping utility will show you the codes mapped one-to-one -one and the codes that have multiple mappings. This saves you hours of manual labor and you don't have to buy expensive coding books. Second, you can code an ICD-10 before the actual deadline. LiTeX 2015 allows one code to store both the ICD-10 and the ICD-9 equivalent. This lets users start coding an ICD-10 right away so they can start learning the codes and test them. But of course their claims will still go out in ICD-9 until the actual switch date so they get paid. Third, set the ICD version. At the insurance level, users indicate which carriers are switching to ICD-10 and set the effective date of October 1st. If everything is set up properly, then it doesn't really matter whether the insurance requires ICD-9 or ICD-10. Users can code an ICD-10 for everyone, and the system will put the appropriate code on the claim, alleviating the hassle of having to manually manage it. This is especially helpful because workers' comp and auto claims aren't required to switch to ICD-10. And you don't want to have to worry about making sure the doctor knows whether you're coding an ICD-9 or ICD-10. The other thing the program will do is warn users if they're using a code that doesn't have an ICD-9 if the insurance requires ICD-9, again alleviating a huge manual process. Another awesome tool in LiTeX 2015 is the automated rebuild feature. When sending rebuilds after the October 1st deadline, you won't have to manually put ICD-9 codes in. Because LiTeX allows both codes to be stored and at the insurance level indicates when the effective date is, the system will automatically pull the ICD-9 code if the claim was before the effective date. And let's not forget the challenge with paper superbills. With the massive expansion of codes, practices will no longer have a one or two page superbill. Instead, they're looking at six to even nine pages. And if we're realistic, there is no way any practice can efficiently handle a nine page superbill. It just won't work. Luckily, LiTeX users can download the new mobile app on their iPad and use an electronic super build to solve that challenge. So as you can see, LiTeX 2015 is going to help you avoid tons of challenges and manual labor. It's the only way to make a smooth transition to ICD-10. But before you rush out and buy this offer from just anyone, you'll want to see our awesome offer. We're giving away free training DVDs with LiTeX 2015. This training will show you how to use the new ICD-10 features, which as you can see, they're powerful and you're going to need to know how to properly use them. This is while supplies last. Order LiTeX 2015 from ASCOMP and you'll get free ICD-10 training. The software is the exact same no matter where you purchase it, but ASCOMP is the only place where you can get this incredible training for free.